pretty windy out here. So I got you guys tucked in where hopefully it won't be too bad on the audio. Anyway, we got a few air conditioners here I need to take apart, try to make a load for today. Plus we got that free gloves and that cat from uh, the unit that we got to take in. Try out some of the new tools.
these. This is Inconel, these little wires. I don't even know if my yard buys this. I'm gonna have to ask him. I don't see too much of this. We don't get too much of this up in the, uh, the Northeast because you know, most of these home heating systems and air conditioning systems are either propane, natural gas, or oil-based, you know. There, there's not too many of these central ACs that have heaters also built into them. Not up here anyway, maybe down south it's more prevalent. What those carbide tip DeWalt or Diablo blades are the shit. All right, now we gotta go cut the ends off these and get some other stuff wrangled up. I wanted to show y'all how this, these uh, carbide blades, especially with the copper, it's pretty amazing. Watch it; it actually works better if you go slow. Pretty crazy.
There's some really good blades. Well, it's not a really big load, but we'll see what it comes out to. The New Jersey Pine Barrens, also known as the Pine Lands, or simply the Pines, is the largest remaining example of the Atlantic Coastal Pine Barrens ecosystem. The New Jersey Pine Lands National Reserve contains approximately 1,100,000 acres of land and occupies 22% of New Jersey's land area, including territory of much of seven counties. The name Pine Barrens refers to the area's sandy, acidic, nutrient-poor soil. Although European settlers could not cultivate their familiar crops there, the unique ecology of the Pine Barrens supports a diverse spectrum of plant life, it includes orchids and carnivorous plants. The Pine Barrens remains mostly rural and undisturbed despite its proximity to the sprawling metropolitan cities of Philadelphia and New York City. The Pine Barrens is home to at least 850 species of plants of which 92 are considered threatened and endangered. Several species of orchids, including the pink lady slipper, are native to the Pine Barrens. It is also home to at least 39 species of mammals, over 300 species of birds, 59 reptile and amphibian species, and 91 fish species. At least 43 species are considered threatened and endangered by the New Jersey Division of Fish and Wildlife. Forest fires play an important role in regulating the growth of plants in the Pine Barrens. Frequent light fires tend to reduce the amount of undergrowth and promote the growth of mature trees. Forest fires have contributed to the dominance of the pitch pine in the Pine Barrens. They can resist and recover quickly from fire by re-sprouting directly through their bark something very unusual for pines. Also, their cones open only after having been heated by a fire. The Pine Barrens also gave rise to the legend of the Jersey Devil, said to have been born in 1735 to a local woman named Mrs. Leeds in an area known as Leeds Point. It was said that he was her 13th child and because of the unlucky number, he was cursed. Another story says that the mother gave birth to hideous monster that attacked her and her nurses before flying up and out of the chimney and disappearing into the Pine Barrens, only to be seen on rare occasions. The Pine Barrens also helps recharge the 17 trillion gallon Kirkwood Cohansey Aquifer containing some of the purest water in the United States. All right, thanks a lot. Guess we better fix the tail light, huh?
That stinks. Smells like somebody overheated one of them. All right, where you at? There's chainsaws. What we got here? Oh. Uh, junk. Black and Decker. Anything good coming in? Nah. Not really, right? Oh, these look brand new. That's a date on those bad boys. 18. Ah, uh, two years old. They're probably still good, though. Good one. Oh, look at that. That's the good stuff. Wow, look at this exchanger they have. Up. That's crazy. That's some good stuff. These are good too. Wow. Hmm. There you go. Let's see if the guy called back yet about the cat. Well, oh, got a dollar on the ACR, so that's good. Everything else is pretty much floating the same. They gave me 150 on the cat, so I took it. I was like, okay. everybody signing off thanks for watching remember to hit that thumbs up and don't be afraid to share the videos on your social media platforms spread the word <laughs> see you on the next one Bro, your charcoal canister, bro.